Tonight, I hope that you have been reminded about what Whitworth means to you and what it can mean for the world. Indeed, we are celebrating this evening, celebrating an enduring vision that is even older than 125 years. We are celebrating 25,000 alumni and millions of stories of those alumni who have made a difference in this world. But we are celebrating even a bigger story than that. All of us in this room have been changed by Whitworth University. In some way, Whitworth has impacted each of us. All of us are a part of this bigger story. I'm a relative newcomer to this story in my fifth year as president, but this is a place that has touched me deeply, and it's a place that shapes me daily. I have been entrusted, indeed we have been entrusted with its mission to prepare our graduates to honor God, to follow Christ, and to serve humanity. We have been given a sacred gift. Every day I walk Whitworth's beautiful campus and interact with our students and faculty and staff. I become even more aware of the remarkable and important place that Whitworth is. We have lofty and noble ambitions and aspirations, and we have compelling needs but again, this is a bigger story. For instance, we want to raise important funds to support key areas of the university that will elevate Whitworth's distinctiveness, the core program, study abroad opportunities, science research, faculty and staff development. We also need scholarship dollars as we celebrate the most diverse incoming freshman class in Whitworth's history, we know we need to do better to maintain the socioeconomic diversity of our student body. Knowing that there are students who want and need a Whitworth education but cannot afford it is heartbreaking. In recent years, we have held the line on enrollment growth that can so often unnecessarily increase costs and threaten Whitworth's relational culture. We have tightened our budgets. We are being good stewards, but dollars to support students through scholarships are critical and necessary. Finally, you all know firsthand that our music program is one of the greatest assets of a liberal arts education. We have been reminded of that tonight. And these students and faculty deserve a home worthy of their talents. Whitworth needs a physical space for these wonderful student performers and their instructors to rehearse and learn together that is comparable to the immense contributions that they make each and every day to our lives. So how can we support Whitworth during this exciting time as we look forward to a promising future? Whitworth's mission is bold. It's courageous. So we must be bold and courageous in asking for support. So to that end, this evening, I am officially announcing the campaign for Whitworth, which has been moving forward in a leadership phase since July the 1st, 2010. Tonight, it is my pleasure to tell you that we have secured more than $56 million in gifts and pledges toward a goal of raising $100 million. This is by far the largest and most ambitious campaign in Whitworth's history. During the leadership phase of the campaign, Whitworth has raised funds to build the new William P. and Bonnie V. Robinson Science Hall, to endow four new professorships and chairs to enable Whitworth to attract and to retain the world's best faculty, to increase needed scholarship support for students, and to equip academic programs and faculty development, among many other areas. Among those gifts are two that I want to highlight tonight that are part of an exciting new program. The first is a leadership gift of $2 million from the Coles Family Foundation and members of the Coles Family 
for the construction and naming of the new Coles Music Center. This project includes a significant new addition, an important remodel of our existing music facility, originally constructed in 1978 with a lead gift then also from the Coles family. This is an ambitious $13.5 million project. And tonight I'm pleased to announce that Whitworth has already secured $10.6 million toward this highest priority facility. You heard from Jim and Wanda Coles earlier tonight. It's my pleasure to announce that Jim and Wanda Coles, who are here this evening, have agreed to serve as the honorary co-chairs of the campaign for Whitworth. Jim and Wanda, thank you for your service and for your contributions. In addition, I want to mention a gift from my dear friends trustee and immediate past chair of the board, Walt Oliver, and his wife, Kay. Walt and Kay have recently committed $3 million to the success of this campaign and to its new music facility. Thank you, Walt and Kay. Finally, as I mentioned earlier, one of our goals is to increase the number of endowed faculty and chairs and professorships at Whitworth. And during the early stages of this campaign, we've already grown in the number of endowed positions from two to six. One of those is the Sue Chandler Professorship in Education. You've already heard from Sue tonight. I'm pleased to announce that Scott and Sue Chandler have agreed to serve as the co-chairs of this exciting campaign and have already put in significant time and travel, leading our campaign steering committee and meeting with potential donors around the country. Scott and Sue, thank you for your leadership. Now, none of this should be a surprise to you. Most institutions celebrating milestones like this one take advantage of that momentum to encourage their alumni and friends to come alongside and to participate in a fundraising effort. But the fundraising portion of the campaign for Whitworth is merely the beginning. Starting tonight, we are adding an additional component to our campaign, one that puts hands and feet to our efforts to support Whitworth calling upon all of our graduates to serve humanity. As far as we know, we are the first higher education institution to ever take on something like this. But we have chose, chosen to do this for no other reason than that it fits Whitworth so well. So in addition to encouraging you to come alongside Whitworth with your financial gifts, I also call upon you to participate with your gifts of time and talent. The Whitworth Serves campaign will allow every person in the Whitworth family to track and to report hours of service. Whether you volunteer in your church, a nonprofit in your hometown, or in a reunion committee for your alma mater. Yes, we hope that you will give to Whitworth, but we also hope that you will choose to give through Whitworth. We envision alumni and parents, faculty, staff, students, friends all over the world, notifying us of their gifts of service and allowing us to count some of those in the name of Whitworth. At the end of each academic year, we will tally up the hours of ser service and report them alongside our fundraising totals. In addition, March 28th, 2015, will be our first Whitworth Serves Day when we hope you will join us in your hometowns and enjoy a day of service in the name of Whitworth. 
So you see, we are indeed celebrating a bigger story this evening. You are part of this bigger story. It's past, it's present, it's exciting future. I hope you have been reminded this evening of why Whitworth is so important to you and why it is important to our world. Every morning I wake up with the awareness that I've been entrusted with leading this incredible university. This place has prepared us, it has taught us, it has shaped us, and it's been doing this for 125 years. I ask myself regularly, Beck, what will you do as a steward of this institution and its noble mission? What will you leave behind? I ask each of you tonight to consider the same question. What will you do for Whitworth University? Its mission, its students. What might be possible through Whitworth because of you. God bless you and thank you.